Welcome to Big Ten in 10, a 10 minute look at Big Ten women's soccer, where we meet all 14 coaching staffs and a distinguished alumni from each team. In this case, not one, not two, but three superstars from Northwestern. Talking about Marissa Vigiano, along with my Big Ten Network broadcast partners, Kayla Sharples and Hannah Davison, and David Nikolic, the longtime associate head coach for the Northwestern Wildcats. Welcome to all of you. Hey, Dean. How you doing? Hi, Dean. Yeah, great to be with you all. And David, come on, man. This is truly Northwestern royalty, these three right here. It is. You are right. You're looking at three of the best. You know, when we got, when we brought them in, um, I, we didn't expect that this would, would uh, be this way, but we knew we had three special people. And I think that um, they've shown um, through the way they played and the way they carried themselves all the way through their career, how great um, they have, they've set this foundation for the new normal of what Northwestern women's soccer is. David, you and Michael have been coaching together now for around 27 years. Can you please Thanks. describe? Yeah, yeah, 27 <laughs> years, yeah. yeah. Can you please describe the dynamic between the two of you? Can you see all the gray? Um, the dynamic is, you know, I, I think we work very well together. We've grown up together. We're from the same town in Wisconsin and in the suburb of Milwaukee. Uh, we have the same, a lot of the same ideas because of a lot of the people that we were taught by um, although they might not have been the same coaches, uh, had a, a similar philosophy. So as we grew up um, and our paths came back together after college, um, it, was, it was pretty seamless in, in working together. And, as, and, and when I say working together, you, you, the three of you know it's working together. Um, I'm, Mike is very, is very cognizant not to make it that I'm working for him, even though I am working for him. He includes me in everything. Uh, he listens. Uh, he takes a lot of my ideas and, and points. Um, he doesn't have to use them all the time. Um, you know, I, I would have said that uh, Kayla or Hannah should have been shooting some more penalty kicks, but you know, that didn't, you know, when, when Vigiano is scoring them all, we don't have to always, he doesn't have to listen to me. But, um, but yeah, so I think, I think that became, uh, you know, in terms of how we do the training and how we do um, our ideas for, for, recruiting and our ideas for uh, preparation for games. I think it's, uh, it's, it's nice when he, he knows probably, he, we both know pretty much what each other's thinking. And Marissa, you had an incredible career, obviously at Northwestern, ultimately leading to you being one of the first Northwestern players to get drafted alongside Kayla and I. Um, but as your teammate of four years, we know that it didn't start out necessarily the way most people would believe. Can you walk us through what it was like to transition to the collegiate level and what advice you would give to your freshman self? Yeah, so, you know, transitioning to the collegiate level, it's, it can be a really scary, nerve-wracking time. And I did not come into um, the collegiate level prepared. Um, you know, I didn't do the best on my fitness test, um, didn't prepare, you know, the summer leading up to it um, as well as I should have. Um, but I kind of took that, um, you know, I acknowledged it, um, and I just used it to work and get better, um, you know, for my teammates, for my coaches. And, um, I think it's something that, um, you know, I pride myself on now, you know, my fitness, um, my work ethic. So I think, you know, looking back to my freshman year, I would just tell myself, you know, things are going to happen. Adversity is going to, you know, um, but it's how you um, face it and how you use it to, you know, get better and grow. And David, since you and Michael took over the program, Northwestern has earned a great deal of respect, um, something that we talked a lot about while we were on the team of wanting to be the team that everybody feared. And I think you guys have proven yourselves to be a team that's not only dominant in the Big Ten, but can compete with any team in the NCAA. What is this growth and success mean for the program now and the new standard that's been set the the years that the four the three of you were there those four years uh are mentioned a lot your names are brought up a lot and the standards that you set um and so those those things now it's a lot easier from when in an earlier in earlier times where you you start to look and see like you know, where are we reaching? What are we going to? And, and now the players coming in and now the players who are here look and say, it's been done at Northwestern. This, 
these things can happen. We have to um, uh, participate and, 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 and play at this level because it's been done before. And these people before us who we hear a lot about now, the Marissa's, the Kayla's, the Hannah's, the Nandi's, the Nikki Sibos, those type of people, you know, they have expectations for us and we, we know we can do well here. So, um, you know, I, I think it's, it's a situation where you know, we're, we're, we're ready for any, any challenge that comes in front of us. And I think that you know, the three of you um, helped lay that, that groundwork, you know, and, and, and set that example that, that is now very well-defined and easy to follow. Marissa, I got three questions for you. So follow along. I know you can because you went to Northwestern. One, that viral goal last year that you scored for Orlando, amazing. Touch on that. Second, adversity, Orlando not being allowed to go to the bubble because of the COVID. And then to me, I'm thinking you can shake off that adversity because in the second game, you see Hannah and Kayla pitch a shutout as the center backs for the Red Stars. Address all three of those. Okay, so first, my goal, um, it's funny because I joke about it a lot. I really didn't score a lot in college. I think I scored like five goals total, and three of them were probably like penalty kicks. Um, so scoring a goal like that um, was, it's still hard to describe. Um, obviously, my celebration, I really didn't know how to celebrate. Um, just so much, like so many emotions, um, you know, my passion for the game. Um, it was an incredible um, night because that was our World Cup welcoming um, home game for all of um, you know our players that were at the World Cup. So it was just a special moment, um, something that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Um, not being able to go to the Challenge Cup was definitely tough. Um, you know, we were working, you know, through all the preseasons, um, you know, and we were we were prepared and. Um, Definitely tough, but you know we it was the right decision. Um, we wanted to be there as you know as you know of course we wanted to compete, but um, yeah, it was tough, but you know I'm really proud of how we all came together as a team and um, lastly, Hannah and Kayla killing it in the challenge cup in that game. I was so proud of them. Um, you know, it was so fun to see them out there together again, um, you know, just like old times and um, did such an incredible job, you know, really stepping up for, for the Red Stars and, you know, with that shutout. So, so proud of them, so happy for them. It was fun to watch. Great answers. We wrap it up, David. You see these three here. There was a notion with Michael and you that you want Northwestern to be the Stanford of the Midwest. And obviously you're making that progress. But also when you think about Northwestern, you think about doctors and lawyers and everything else. Now you got these three professional soccer players at the highest level, adding another layer to what Northwestern brings. Quick soundbite on what that means. We talk about the options academically and athletically, the best uh, that Northwestern can, can provide. And these three show that you can do it athletically at the, at the highest level. And so that is one of the reasons why, you know, we always talk about them and, and their contributions, not only on the field, in the classroom, off the field as leaders with our team. It's, you know, they, they put the full package together, all three of them, you know, all three of them were just the full package. And, you know, we're so proud of what they've done and what they've become and where they're continuing to go. David, you've been a great advocate for the Big Ten Network. Thanks so much for all you do. So pleased that you could join. I feel like I need to bow down to this Northwestern royalty. Marissa, can't wait to see you back out on the field. And Hannah and Kayla, can't wait to see you in a Big Ten Network booth. That's Northwestern Big Ten Women's Soccer in 10.